All right, welcome back guys, Aoshi here. We are starting a new character on Diablo 2. I'm not sure who we want to do yet. Uh, let's go, I guess, single player. Um, let's see, we got the Amazon Assassin. Necro Barbarian Paladin Sorceress and Druid. Hmm. I kind of feel like in the past I've done a lot of Necro and Druid. I haven't really done too much content with Amazon or Barbarian. And I guess an average amount of Assassin, Paladin, and Sorceress. Um, I feel like, yeah, we could start out with Assassin's pretty fun. We could start out with um, doing like martial arts type stuff. Well, no, I think traps are pretty good. If we do that, we'll just need to carry a lot of mana potions. Oh, no numbers. Let's go like that then. Bam. Good day. Well, greetings, friend. Not in town. <laughs> How do we auto run? Uh, toggle run walk control. There we go. I am a cop. There is a place of great e I think everyone's figured out the story. The game's pretty old. So we start out with our Qatar and a buckler, and then one scroll of identify and one of town portal. No waypoints. A couple of potions. They'll never see me coming. <clears throat> Ooh, stamina shrine. <clears throat> um, keep following this path, I guess. I just want to get to the den first. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay. Yeah. Pathfinding. So dark. <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah. Gotta kill all the monsters. Should be pretty easy. Revived these little fallen ones, so that's pretty annoying. But we just gotta find their uh, shamans. Uh. 
see if I missed anyone up here. Yep. These are all pretty easy, so I'm not going to bother with the stats and skill points just yet. Later on, we're when we get to the Countess, we're definitely going to want to uh, run it a few times to collect some runes. So we want to get that first rune word. Um, I think it's stealth. But it's pretty strong. It makes you like faster and all kinds of stuff. I can't remember all the stats off the top of my head. But I'll find the rune words uh, or the runes necessary to make that rune word. So we'll have it ready. That's the cool part. Once you make those rune words, the uh, the item itself doesn't even have to be fantastic. It could just be your regular, you know, just leather armor or whatever. As long as it meets the criteria of the rune word. You know, the stats can be terrible. Ouch. But um, the most important part is getting the rune word because all the uh, attributes and whatnot. It's not so much like the. What's it called? Like the defense. It's not going to be too important. Pretty sure defense is just physical, right? So I think it's here we go. Average chance that they'll hit you and chance to block. So it's more about only people that are physically trying to hit you, but what about all the enemies later that are using magic, you know, has no effect at all. So it's only like defense is just part of the game. Um, stat wise, most of it's going to come from uh, go into vitality uh, to bring up your health totals. Yeah, where is this guy? There we go. Um, ooh. But the other ones, we're gonna have to get the bare minimum for... We shouldn't need too many crazy stats. Just enough to where um, any good pieces that we find. But we're not gonna rely on this hand-to-hand -hand combat that we're doing right now. It's just kind of slow and dangerous because you got to get in really close to guys and you can get surrounded, so it's just not safe. At least for the kind of build that we're going to do. We're going to do that trepassin. I can't carry anymore. Eh. Yeah. We got too much good stuff going on here. Oh, we can identify these boots. I'll free up some space. Oh. Alright, this is the worst dagger in the world, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Jesus. 
short sword was this six twenty five percent this one's worse actually I can throw some of these potions down here that works And we did it. The rogue's test is done. Very nice. I want to head back to town. I don't want to burn through my um actually we're really close to leveling. Let me just kill some guys. Yeah. Little tiny dudes to fall in, they're not worth that much XP, so don't worry about them. Quest log return, return to Akara. I changed some of my hotkeys, normally be a Q for quests, but I changed it to L because I want to use when I get more abilities, I'm gonna change all the hotkeys to. Qwerty, Q W E R, and so forth. Hello. Let's see. Oh, that scepter's terrible. The magic items, if they have skills on them, they sell for a truckload of money. Four to seven. Yeah, I guess that's fine. This better just keep a shield anyway. 12, 12. This one's horrible. Let's see, what's our hotkey to sell? Okay, hold control. Good. We don't need that many healing potions. The control here doesn't really work. I think if I right click here, I think I'm gonna drink it, so don't want to do that. I'll stick those on there. I think I can get some good money off this club. 112? Maybe not. Uh, 1 to 6 very fast. This is four to seven very fast. Eh, it's okay, but no. Nah. Check out this charm. Plus the poison damage. Sure, why not? Um, let's see. TP. It's gonna cost three hundred and fifty. Well, like phones going crazy. Okay. Now that's fixed. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this charm. It's not a big deal, really. Five damage over three seconds. Because we're gonna do so much burst damage with our traps then. It's just like nothing. So we're going to use that money. Get this. I guess we'll keep that stamina potion. Um, she's not going to sell anything for us. Let me just check. Up here. Okay, we got three TPs. That's all right. Hi there. Yes. Let's go Charcy. Qatar. I don't know if they have plus the skills on Qatars, at least from the shop. Um, okay. So let's take a look at our skills now. 
We got our quest log is good. We'll pick up our Hello. next quest, Welcome, Kashia. My Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds. Okay. So, martial arts we're going to skip. Shadow disciplines. We might get into it later because it's kind of cool to have like a shadow master. Maybe just do like one point. Just go like boom, 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 boom. Um, burst of speed is kind of nice. You just cast it and then two minutes you're just attacking and running faster. So that's pretty good. But if we get a bunch to like plus skills, it might just be kind of cool to get just one point in a few of these. Not so much martial arts. So for traps, this is uh, the lightning path, and then we got the fire path down the middle. And we got some weird spinning blades. Not too much of a fan of that stuff. I feel like, for now, since we can start with Fire Blast, we'll just stick with Fire. Uh, we got we got a lot of synergies. We'll probably level this up until... Until we get hit Wake of Fire at level 12. We're level 3, so we got a ways to go. Um... So this is three to four damage. We're currently attacking for five to nine. <clears throat> so we'll put one here. Let me switch this, put this on Q. I forgot our hotkey for skills. Is it T? Yeah, it's T, okay. So we can see right here, three to four. So the next one is four to six. At least the mana cost doesn't go up like crazy. 3.1, that's pretty good. And one more for Akara's quest. Bam, there we go. It's already more damage. And it's got a little blast radius of 3.3 yards, so we should be able to hit multiple guys. And we don't have to risk whiffing our attacks or getting stuffed or, or whatnot or then blocking it um so energy no i'm looking at vitality strength and dexterity we don't have to worry about that yet it's mostly uh for wearing protective equipment so until we find something later substantial that we have to up our strength for and whatnot, we'll go into that. But for now, we'll just dump it into Vitality. Let's see, we have 28 mana. It costs like 3.2 per shot. So eventually we're gonna have to buy some, some serious potions here. Let's see. They cost 60. These big ones sell for 75. I don't really need that much. So I'm going to buy... I don't think we're going to get hit that much. Let's buy three extra. One, two, three. Cool. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see if we need to get more. <clears throat> if we start like burning through our mana like crazy, let's go ahead and try to knock out at least one more quest. We'll try our new fire blast. So we follow this path should take us to um, okay here's Flavy normally keeping us out of the cold plains so next to cold plains 
And there's a standard waypoint. Oh, nice. Experience shrine. Oh! Let me take this potion real quick. Oh, awesome. Bam. So much easier. We'll always pick up these potions. It'll just keep us out here longer. We don't have to worry about going back to town all the time. Well, hello. So nice. Let's let them group up. Boom. Doing 7 to 11 right now. Not bad. Oh, love it. It's like so strong. I guess we'll try this way first. Looking for the burial grounds. If it's just like one or two guys, at least for now we can just kind of whack at them. Alright, what do we got here? Yep, found the burial grounds. Okay. Whose handiwork lies buried here? My army will destroy. Ouch. Running. I guess that's the part that's annoying. Oh yeah, she's cornered. Whoa, we got a set item. And something we can use. That's pretty sweet. Wow, we lucked out. And we destroyed her. So easily too. That's pretty awesome. TP back. Actually, is it that far? Return to Kashia for a reward. What I can do is just uh, keep following this pathway. We still got some room. Ooh. Group up for me. Boom. Yeah. I don't think those sell for very much. I am overburdened. It's kind of a side area over here, the cave. I gotta say, that was like the smoothest Blood Raven fight I've had in a long time. That's pretty nuts. Hey, we gotta level up too. Nice. Fire Blast. More vitality. We're off to like a great start. I want to keep looking in the stony field. Maybe I can find a, uh, a waypoint here. Ooh. 
champion like archers are nasty especially if there's a gang of them die already all right bust out some more fire blasts i can't carry anymore um let's see short sword can do a little finagling here. Okay, that looks good. It's always that first waypoint that's always predictable. It's like as soon as you enter the area, it's right there. But for the other ones, oh nice. So we found well, where we need to go later. And we found this moldy tome right next to it. I'll open up uh, another quest. I don't want to look at it right now. Ooh, gem shrine. It's a little too dangerous. Quality boots? No thanks. I am overburdened. Mm -hmm. Does the radius go up too? Three point three yards. I guess not. Although if you look at the synergies, no, it's just fire damage. Okay. Come on, where's that? Oh, nice. <laughs> Fire blast for everyone. Oh, too far away. It's like crazy inaccurate. Oh, this is better. Our mana is suffering. This is better. We'll just use our potions. I am overburdened. Scroll of identify. TP here. <clears throat> Alright, waypoint, where are you? I'm thinking it's on the west side of the map now. I can't carry anymore. Kinda worked our way back around. Whoa. Nice. There it is. It's actually pretty much at the start too. Just throw some some things here before I go back to town. Thank you. All right. Kasia gives us a free rogue scout partner mercenary person. <laughs> so we read that tome. So now we. Got the quest to look for the tower, which is not necessary because we know about it. At least if you've ever played Diablo 2, you should. The next quest will be for Kane. Pick that up here. It is clear. Go to through the underground passage that we found. Get to the dark wood. Find the tree and get the scroll. The order welcomes you. Um. So let's identify. Let's see. I guess we'll identify a few of these. 
This one will sell. Ooh, yeah. It's got some plus skills to it, so we'll sell that. <clears throat> it's terrible. That's pretty bad. This is four. This is three with some fire resist. It's actually a little bit better. I'll always take fire resist, or any resistances <clears throat> over some defense, so. Rejuice, I'm gonna keep those. <clears throat> Let's identify this bad boy right here. Kleglaw's Claw. Oh crap, we need 22 strength. Well, we'll keep that in mind. For the, uh, for the next level up that we get. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, I'll keep these potions, not that one, obviously. Gonna get rid of that gem. Not gonna buy any extra mana potions right now. <laughs> Drop these off. So my strength is at 20, which is nice. So one more level and we can use this guy. 27 defense. Poison length reduced by 75%. That's gonna be awesome on Andariel. So way more defense and poison length. And it's even got 5% more chance to block. So that's going to be awesome. I can't believe we found that off of uh, Blood Raven. I don't ever see any like set items drop off her. And we'll put money in the stash. In case we do die, then I don't think it takes from the stash. Could be wrong. But... Uh, Anyway, we got off to a good start, so next time we're going to be uh, warping back to Stonyfield. And then we'll start looking for Kane through the dark wood and whatnot. Or at least for the scroll. And then we'll get the scroll and we can activate that uh, next to the Cairn Stones and the Cold Plains. And then we can go back to Tristram and, and save Kane. But uh, until next time, yeah, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.